Hey there guys, what's up? This is Haruki, your community manager, and I welcome you to the first episode in our Ask Me Anything series. In Ask Me Anything series, we'll be gathering some of the community questions you guys may have and answer them in a fancy yet informal kind of way. And without further ado, I'll give you guys the first batch of our player questions. Off we go. Okay, so let's start off with the first question. Ken asks, are you considering lowering the token amount needed to rank up characters? We believe ranking tunes should be something that feels progressive, challenging, but also rewarding. However, we do feel your pain, especially when it comes to later ranks that require significantly more pieces. In that sense, we are considering ideas to reward you for progressing and still hit that meaningful achievement milestone every time you reach a new rank. And on that note, Hagen asks, are we going to have a better way to obtain the formulas to level up our tunes? So far, with the Acme Lab being the only source, is very ineffective. I have multiple tunes that need them and no way to get them. Well, the Acme Lab arrived in the game recently, and as such, we are still fine-tuning parameters, including rewards. The Acme R&D store is already in its second iteration, with a lot more agency around picking exactly the materials you need and offers of more valuable materials, such as superior boosters. As with all things in the game, we will keep monitoring and tweaking exact numbers depending on player needs. Player ASEN2500 asks, can you announce the upcoming events a few days earlier than you do now so we can prepare the needed tunes as much as we can? Well, as a rule of thumb, we're trying to bring you as many events details as possible via Reddit and Discord. We're exploring improving in this area as well, with the introduction of different news outlets inside and outside the game. To be honest, we are still trying out different things on our event side, but we do have the mission of providing you guys more time to prepare for some of our events, at least for those big ones that are active for several days. Player Jellybean asks, are the friendship, rivalry and nemesis skills based on the relationships between the characters in the cartoons or are they a way of balancing the game? Well, they certainly contribute to a tune's strength and balance, but we absolutely base them in the narrative of the cartoons. That also applies to our original takes on canonical characters. New outlaw in the desert region? He probably hates cops. Bagabunks asks, what's the next area or theme of tunes coming? Okay, let me see. Oof, so many possibilities out there. While it's too soon to talk about forthcoming regions or even specific tunes, we can all say that we plan to both expand existing themes that players enjoy and to introduce entirely new ones that expand the world of mayhem as a whole. This is an old IP, but one that never seems to stop growing. Whatever new region is coming to World of Mayhem next, we'll make sure to add exciting new tunes for you to collect and brawl with, original tunes included. Thomas from Facebook asks, where are those level up tournaments we used to have? It's been weeks, maybe even a month or more since the last one. Tournaments based solely on level up or tune ups and rank ups for that matter felt overall like a double punishment. And those are not fun, bub. On the one hand, players would feel they could not progress with their tunes at the speed they wanted, since there was always an event they had to wait for. And on the other hand, veterans and endgame players were left virtually with no way of scoring points since they had most of their collections pretty up. Since the release of World of Mayhem, we have been moving away from this type of tournaments and geared towards quests and leaderboards based on brawling and collectibles, tune pieces, regional materials, XP potions. We feel is the right thing to do as it incentivizes gameplay and it's fair for our overall player base. And player Lance, also from Facebook, why don't you listen to the players and change Brawl back, using a better method to stop some bugging? Player feedback is incredibly important to us, and we make every effort to listen to all players. We understand that some players are upset by the new measures, but we would like to note that the new measures are a direct response to significant player feedback and gameplay data. And after careful consideration, we still believe that this new system is the most balanced and fair for our player base. And we have no immediate plans to revert to the old system. The new measures halt an activity that had become part of a daily routine for a very small but passionate subset of players. 
However, we firmly believe that intentionally losing hundreds of brawl batters daily is bad for the game ecosystem and unfair towards players that really invest in the roster and compete against opponents of equal strength without the trophy dropping. Instead, the new measures will let us change events and requirements going forward in better ways, as well as protecting those lower ranks. In addition, we've been working on something to replace that kind of behavior with something that's a lot more fun. Something where you can earn stars and battle other players without trying to climb the leagues. Stay tuned for more info on this in the future. And that will be all for our first video. As always, if you have any questions, suggestions or comments to make, you can drop them in the comment section down below as I will be there to answer. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media channels for those extra Community Karma points. And I'll see you guys in the next video.